Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. So, the game gave us another version of Elena, and it's the student or schoolgirl Elena, or what they call her, trendy Elena, and we'll be explaining her skills i didn't look at her skills yet i didn't test her i didn't check anything about her i'll be doing it right now with you so i can have the first impression it will be uh, i think uh, what i've heard i've seen people talking that part of the people were saying that she's absolutely not necessary and useless and part were saying that she's really really good and one of the best characters as legendary so we're gonna go and uh, check her out so she's legendary in the mall so let's go and read her skills and get to know her better so her skills, first skill, a super, is she a trigger, AOE, single, AOE, great, so, super combo unleashed, one super combo, you know, I wanna just check if she's a trigger, no, she's not a trigger, okay, so let's go, kick an enemy two times, dealing damage equal to 300% of attack, then swing the school bag to deal damage equal to 306% to the enemies in a large area, so she hits a single target two times, then enemies behind her so it's an aoe really good aoe is good so 40 percent a chance to gain one stockpile we're gonna read what stockpile later it's not here okay if there is one enemy left the skill ignores 60 percent of the target's defense wow she's insane for bossing 60 percent ignoring defense with e honda or rich honda this will be insane damage reduction ignoring defense she will be a monster actually for bossing this is good even with gen with the new gen she works really good so her passive Unleashes Dance of Youth, or Youthful Hadouken, okay, to gain Stockpile Stacks, which are used to unleash combo 3. Stockpile Stacks up to 3 times, good, good, 3 times, we're gonna read what it does. Upon gaining Stockpile, increase combo damage by 5%. Nice, until the end of the battle, up to maximum 25%. So 25% up to the end of the battle, so 2 rotations or 3 rotations and you're ready also. I think because you're gonna get stockpile in other ways and passives and stuff like that so 25% and it stacks for three times the stockpile and every rotation every stockpile gives you 5% it stacks up to 25% it's permanent so the stockpile gives you 5% damage great upon consuming stockpile so you consume stockpile as well so it doesn't just you generate it and you consume it Increase super combo damage by 10%. Wow, super combo. Until the end of the battle. Up to a maximum of 30%. Oh my god. Nice. 30%. Until the end of the battle. 30% extra damage. 25% extra damage until the end of the battle. And ignores 60% defense for bossing. Insane unit so far. So far, her super is, is, is insane so far. If this is only for the super combo. And this is, she gains stockpile with super combo. Upon gaining stockpile, increase combo damage by 7% until the end of the battle. Combo damage, it means the entire combo. Great, so other units can get 7% damage. Up to a maximum of 35%. What? Wait, this is crazy. So 25%, plus 30%, plus 35%. What? Upon consuming stockpile, increase super combo damage by 15% until the end of the battle. Okay, it goes up to 45%. This is crazy. So, increases the combo damage by 35% and the super combo by 45%. And every every stack of stockpile give you 5% and ma caps out 25%. So, she just goes insane. Okay, that's uh, that's that looks OP. Great unit so far. Her C2. So, her super is important. Probably her C3 is also important. Let's read her C2. Unleashes a Hadouken that deals damage equal to 504% of attack, which with all the damage that she get, this can go to 300 and... No, to 1350, something. I, my math is not that, that good. I just, I didn't sleep since yesterday, so don't mind me. And secret weapons that mark enemies. Secret weapons, where's... Okay, let's read. Um... If a secret weapon hits a marked enemy, it deals additional damage equal to 10% of the ma target's max HP. Max HP, damn! This is great. Capped at 400% of her attack and removes the mark. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. Is it AOE? What happened? Um, if a secret weapon hits the marked enemy, it deals... Uh, it's single, okay. Additional damage equal to 15% and at 600% the cap. 
40% chance to gain one stockpile. So she gains stockpile with her C2, with her super, great. Her C3. Uh, consume all stockpile stacks to throw various secret weapons. Various secret weapons. Causing an explosion that deals damage equal to 364%. Again, it's over 1000%. Not only 364%, uh, which with all the buffs that we get. Of attack to an enemies in an area, each stack of stockpile increases this skill's damage bonus by 30%. <laughs> oh my god. Also 30%. Damage bonus, not only attack. And causes this skill to ignore 10% of defense. Ignores. That's that's how much? 70% ignore of defense. And it's, it goes to 40% and ignore 15%. That's 75% of defense ignored. If there is one enemy left, increase the skill damage bonus by an additional 120%. Okay. She's a monster. She doesn't need her cards. She doesn't need exclusive. This skills only alone can... This is the perfect combo with the new uh, Gen. The Taoist Gen. Actually great. And with Honda, actually you can... You can with Rich Honda. And now with Rich Honda, you want to play uh, Flame Adon. Uh, because Fire Adon, when he does the, the carpet or the, the ring of fire underneath the bosses, it's uh, and you increase his attack, his attack buffs the damage over time and the wall stays a lot. Plus, you're gonna remove uh, the damage reduction from the boss with Rich Honda, so this fire burn will make also more damage. So, uh, it's better to keep damage over time. If there's anything like poison that deals more damage than burn, use the poison. But the burn is the most OP. Thing, and there's the bleed but the bleed doesn't stack that much and stays a lot so this is why we're playing burn just that's just some uh, uh, information if you missed out on the information jacket that's her exclusive let's read secret onslaught upon unleashing secret weapon increase attack by three percent up to maximum of twelve percent wow wow all increases shenanigans they made the ultimate unit so how could we make them buy this legendary unit that we want to produce Okay, let her get so much damage that is not that is capped, but the cap is so much that it deals a lot of damage even if we cap her at 600% of attack and, in, and max HP of the enemy, not soul damage, but it's damage uh, over damage and ignores defense, absolutely crazy unit. And she's a tech, it means she has a lot of crit rate, already she has a lot of crit rate, let's read her crit rate, how much is that? 47% and this is normal gears. This is not the amplified gears for her. 47%. Oh my uh, goodness. Uh, and pressure 50. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, her assist skill. If there's only one enemy left, increase the assisted fighter damage bonus by 20% when they attack. This only applies to the starting assisted fighter. This applies to the starting assisted fighter. So. The starting assisted fighter, it means if somebody is in the attack position and you put her on, on them as an assist, uh, she will give them stats, but she will not give them this buff. So this, you need to put her on somebody like a carry on your main lineup. Like on Flame Adon, she works as well. If you have her, uh, but uh, if you have her, you probably will build her to max or so. so it's, it's a waste. One of the insane buffing units as an assist, but you probably will would love to run her as a carry. So... Plus 10, when secret weapons hits marked enemies, it's it has 15% increased crit rate. So she gains crit rate on top of that she doesn't need crit rate, but yo, that's great. Plus 20, upon unleashing secret weapon, increase attack by 5% <laughs> up to 20%. Okay, so it's it goes from 12% uh, to 20%. Absolutely crazy. Her plus 30, when secret weapon hits a marked enemy, it has 25% increased crit rate and 50% increased crit damage. What did I say in my previous video when I was talking about Gen, about T-Gen? That the most important thing in the game right now is not the crit rate, it's the crit damage. And she amplifies her crit damage by her own and her crit rate. So she doesn't depend on anybody, she's a solo unit. You just buff her, put somebody that buffs her on the lineup, like like play her with Gen. Play her with uh, with uh, Gormagala Ken, with Eva Ryu, anybody who buffs her massively, and she will just wreck and shred. Absolutely insane unit, what can I say? She's a paid character, and they want something as broken as Flame Chan. Here you have it. Here you have it. This Elena, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Like, somebody will tell me, like, I'm not paying any penny on this game. Okay, it's up to you. This is irrelevant to the discussion. I'm talking about game. If you want something really, really good, it's, it's, it's her. Like, if I'm spending on the game, even if... The game is dying and I'm still having like 3-4 months to play the game. For 
for me maybe for my budget fifty dollars playing on her yeah i would spend it and play it's fun actually so her cards dance of youth uh, first strike also marks the target with secret weapons absolutely crazy three out of three is a necessity on her so six out of six when dance of youth or youthful hadouken marks an enemy reduce the target's damage reduction by 25 percent for eight seconds so you can stack up this 25 percent so she's a rich honda on her own this is a rich honda by the way if nobody uh understood uh, uh how uh, rich honda work they remove the damage reduction from the enemies it means they take more damage they go to negative zone she does the same i don't know if this stacks up i need to test her so if it stacks up so if it refreshes the 25 percent so if you hit without within the eight seconds another time her six out of six on the boss it means they go to 50 percent then to seven it, uh, 75 percent then to 100 percent if it keeps refreshing and it has no cap she's even better than rich honda yes better than rich honda but she doesn't refresh the combo meter this is why rich honda is an op insane character up there with gorma galakan and bison in the game i'll be making a new tier list soon so keep an eye on this and this unit absolutely is on top of the list if uh, if 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 what i'm seeing here is <laughs> she looks absolutely insane and fantastic so we'll be doing some tests but i'm telling you this is an absolute banger of a unit so keep that in mind and yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace time to fly time to fly